the James Webb Space Telescope just saw something unexpected. The debris field of 3i Atlas, an object from another star system. New orbital models suggest it's heading toward the path of Mars, sparking the headline, Collision Course. But what does collision course really mean in scientific terms? We'll separate the confirmed data from the speculation, using Webb's infrared observations to track a traveller that could change how we defend our planets. The James Webb Space Telescope has just captured data on something astronomers didn't expect to revisit so soon. An interstellar object named 3i Atlas. It's not from our solar system, and new orbital models suggest it's now heading toward Mars. But what exactly does collision course mean in scientific terms? And how certain is this prediction? In the next few minutes, we'll separate confirmed data from early hypotheses, step through Webb's observations, and see how this event could change how we track visitors from beyond our system. What JWST discovered. About 3i Atlas. How does a telescope built to study the first galaxies end up tracking a fading wanderer from beyond our own solar system? That question has guided much of the excitement around the James Webb Space Telescope's recent redetection of 3i Atlas. The web was designed to capture light from billions of years ago, not to follow debris moving through our neighborhood. Yet, its unique infrared vision has turned out to be perfect for detecting the faintest remnants of interstellar objects passing close to our planetary system. An interstellar object, by definition, is not bound by the sun's gravity. It enters, sweeps through, and continues outward following a hyperbolic path rather than an orbit. Only two confirmed examples existed before Atlas. First came 1i slash Oumuamua in 2017, then Comet 2 IB Borisov in 2019. Both drew wide attention because they originated from beyond our solar system. Oumuamua looked more like a rocky fragment, while Borisov was unmistakably cometary trailing dust as it sped past. Together they revealed that space between the stars is not empty, but occasionally sends loose material our way. Then came 3i Atlas, discovered by the asteroid terrestrial impact last alert system. In 2019, it seemed to be another visitor on a steep inbound trajectory. However, this one gave astronomers little time to study it. It was faint, moving fast, and within months it appeared to break apart. Some early images hinted at a diffuse cloud instead of a solid body. Others recorded inconsistent brightness patterns, raising the hypothesis that the nucleus may have fragmented completely. By mid-2020, Atlas had faded below the limits of most ground-based telescopes. Many assumed it was gone for good. Webb's infrared survey changed that. During a series of calibration exposures at mid-infrared wavelengths, scientists identified a faint thermal signal resembling cometary dust, consistent with where 3i Atlas's debris field should be. The detection was verified after comparing the timing and coordinates with NASA's JPL Horizons ephemerides, precise tables that predict where celestial bodies should appear based on previous trajectory data. The thermal signature matched expectations, not just by position, but by velocity. The shards were moving at roughly 26 kilometers per second relative to the sun, slower than Oumuamua, but still too fast for any solar system origin. Spectroscopic analysis added another clue. The reflected light displayed weak carbon monoxide absorption. Lines, suggesting remnants of volatile ices similar to those in long-period comets. Combined with its warped, inclined path about 10 degrees off the ecliptic plane, scientists concluded it was indeed the same interstellar object, albeit in a disintegrated state. Because Webb observes beyond Earth's atmosphere, it can detect such cold dust even when visible light telescopes cannot separate it from the background sky. Ground observatories are limited by cloud cover, daylight, 
and atmospheric turbulence that blurs faint streaks. Webb has none of those restrictions, allowing detailed observation of weak signals tens of millions of kilometers away. When these new data were compared with trajectory simulations, some of the modeled paths appeared to cross Mars's orbit within the next few decades. This led to the headline term, collision course. In planetary dynamics though, an orbital intersection simply means two paths cross in space, not necessarily at the same time. The Earth's orbit also intersects paths of many comets that miss us by wide margins. The same principle applies to Mars. What Webb confirmed is geometric. Debris aligned with Mars's orbital plane, not an unavoidable impact event. The updated models combine JWST's observations with refined orbital solutions from the Horizons database. They show where the fragments are, their direction, and approximate tilt relative to the Sun's plane. The consensus view is that confirmation here refers to detecting and tracking those remnants, not verifying a collision. Even in its weakened state, 3i Atlas continues to teach astronomers how fragile and fast-changing these interstellar visitors can be. That understanding leads directly into how scientists calculate and interpret potential impact probabilities, and why those numbers often change so quickly. What a collision course really means in astronomy. When scientists say an object is on a collision course, how certain is that statement in real astronomical terms? The phrase sounds absolute, but in professional use, it almost always carries a range of probabilities rather than a single prediction. The distinction lies between two related ideas, orbital intersection and impact probability. These describe whether two paths cross and whether both objects will actually reach that crossing point at the same time. When orbit paths intersect, it means their geometry overlaps in space. Impact probability, on the other hand, measures how likely it is that planetary motion and object trajectory align perfectly to cause contact. For three atlas, the intersection is what triggered concern, not an established impact probability. Early orbital models for faint, fast-moving bodies like this rely on only a handful of observations, and each observation carries measurement noise. This creates a kind of uncertainty cloud around where the object could be and where it's headed. As additional data come in, especially from precision instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, that cloud shrinks. The prediction becomes narrower and more reliable. Until then, small errors in velocity, brightness, or position can widely shift projected outcomes. That's why the first few model runs sometimes show potential impacts, even when later data eliminate them. Another key factor is Mars's gravitational sphere of influence, the region where its gravity outweighs the Sun's pull on close objects. This boundary extends for almost a million kilometers. If a fragment enters that region, gravity may bend its path slightly, changing when and where it passes near the planet. Even shifts as small as a fraction of a degree in path inclination can alter arrival timing by weeks. Over distances of tens of millions of kilometers, that difference determines whether something grazes Mars's upper atmosphere or misses the planet completely. To handle so many unknowns, space agencies use statistical tools rather than single values. Monte Carlo trajectory simulations run millions of slightly varied orbits to see what percentage intersect with a target body. Each run uses slightly adjusted inputs within the uncertainties of the available data position, velocity, direction, and timing. The results form a probability distribution that expresses impact risk in fractions of a percent. Another method, covariance analysis, tracks how uncertainty in one parameter, such as direction, propagates into uncertainty in another, like expected arrival time. Together, 
they define confidence limits, showing how tightly or loosely the predictions cluster. That's why the term collision course in news reports often compresses a far more cautious conclusion. In plain terms, it can mean the object's orbital path crosses a planet's orbit somewhere ahead, not that the planet is sitting there when the debris arrives. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, known as CNEOS, routinely publishes probability tables that classify potential impactors into categories. No hazard, close approach, or statistically significant, but low risk. These reports are updated whenever new measurements refine the object's flight path. After a few observation arcs, most cases drop off the risk list entirely. The story of Comet 2 i Borisov offers a reminder. In early 2019, some preliminary models also showed its path cutting near Mars's orbit. As astronomers tracked it longer, the uncertainties tightened and revealed a clear miss. The crossing was geometric, a line intersection in orbital diagrams, but the timing offset was large enough that Borisov passed millions of kilometers away. A similar pattern applies now to 3i Atlas. The confirmed alignment with Mars's orbit reflects a coincidence of angles and timing under current data, not a verified impact forecast. Future updates could nudge that crossing point again either closer or farther. But the working consensus today places no physical threat to the planet. Still, even a harmless alignment has scientific value. Each interstellar traveler challenges detection systems, tests new instruments like Webb's infrared spectrometers, and improves the statistical frameworks that support planetary defense. By observing these rare objects under uncertain conditions, scientists refine how the next potential impactor, from outside or within our solar system, will be judged and tracked with far better confidence. Conclusion JOWST's confirmation of 3i Atlas's faint debris shows how far astronomy has advanced beyond simple observation. Instruments now merge deep space imaging with planetary defense, tracing material from interstellar space through precise orbital mapping. Each detection refines sensors, data models, and how agencies forecast potential impacts. Studying objects like ATLAS helps researchers separate natural uncertainties from genuine threats. Our expanding ability to monitor interstellar visitors also changes how we measure cosmic origins, linking planetary safety with exploration science. Upcoming releases from NASA and ESA will include updates on new detections, continuing this effort to track future travelers entering our solar system.